Hello everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope this video finds you all well. And today in this video, I'm going to be featuring uh, some new coaster molds that I got in my store. I got these a couple weeks ago. I haven't really uh, promoted them much. I wanted to try them out first and see how I like them and make a video for you guys. And I absolutely adore them. Uh, they're a shallower mold, so they're pretty thin, but I actually really like that for geode coaster molds because I think it gives more of an authentic slice look to the molds. And so there's four different shapes. Uh, there's actually two different shapes, but then one has the hole and one doesn't. So you can see here, um, I kind of have them staggered here, but um, so four different shapes and they are the clear whitish um, silicone. They're pretty durable, but like I said, they're very shallow. So you get a nice thin coaster and that also means too, you don't have to use quite as much resin. But I wanted to show in this video how I get the really more like defined look between the colors and the pigments and the glitter because I have a lot of people asking me how to keep it from all running together. In addition to showing how I sort of keep those colors separate from each other, I wanted to use some of my newer uh, pigments and colors and stuff to show you guys here. I'm gonna have a little bit of texture incorporated. We're gonna see how that works out. I'm using some new glitter there called Twiggy. Uh, it's kind of my new favorite. It's like a cool brown. It's a brown color that actually has like flecks of silver in it. It's really, really pretty. It's a nice deep color. I do want to share here too real quick that I do like to use tape to get up any debris, dust, or anything that will fall into the molds, but be very mindful and very gentle with the tape. Anything that's too abrasive will dull out your molds, the this, this shiny surface. I've had a lot of questions about that too. Is it normal for the molds to kind of dull? That will happen if you're using too much of anything abrasive, like someone told me they were using Lysol wipes. Well, the chemicals from the Lysol are going to affect your silicone. These are not indestructible, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes you do need to buy new ones and, and refresh them. All I do when I clean mine is I use warm soapy water and then I will use the tape if there, if I notice some little dust or debris. I try not to do it every single time. Um, it's just a little tip to help you guys get any extra dust off the surface of the mold before you pour resin. And here I am using um, my gold cuttings, which is a fine texture. It's like little tiny gold rocks. It's really, really pretty. And you can see here, I'm just putting it in selective spots. I didn't wanna make all each of these coasters exactly the same because each shape is a little bit different. And um, I was just kind of sick of doing the same coaster in four coasters. <laughs> I wanted to make each one kind of unique, but use the same exact colors in each one. And that right there is actually my coffee pigment. That is a new pigment in my store. It's a warm brown. So when I say warm, I mean it's more of like on the red, orange, yellow spectrum, more of like think the sun. And a cool pigment is gonna have more of like a blue or a purple or even like a green base. Next here, I'm going to use my Twiggy glitter. And I wanna to add to, if you guys want some bonus content, I am gonna have that over for my patrons over on my Patreon. There are links in the description on how you can go over and do that. Uh, that is a monthly subscription and it helps support my channel, just helps me make more content and bring newer products and tutorials to you guys. Um, thank you so much to my patrons over there. I had a couple new ones this month. I will be announcing you guys in the next video. Uh, so keep an ear out for that and just using some very gentle heat here to uh, pop any bubbles but a very low heat because I didn't want to move these pigments and colors around too much because again we're kind of trying to keep them more separated okay so my first tip on how I keep these colors more separated is I make the resin really thick here I'm using some antique lace from my store, and this is a really beautiful off-white. It has more of an antique look, more of kind of like a warm golden look to it. And it goes really nicely with browns and golds, so that's why I'm using it here, because I needed a highlight in these coasters. And so normally we tell you don't use more than a 10% ratio of pigment to your resin, especially if you're using like acrylic paint, because acrylic paint is water-based and it will really cause that resin to seize up and get really thick and gooey on you. But if you're using a mica pigment or a glitter that 
is solvent resistant and works really well in resin, you can add a lot more of that into the resin and it'll really kind of thicken it up without making that resin seize up on you or uh, start overheating or get like sludge. So that is what I did in this instance was I really thickened up that resin uh, so that it wasn't moving around as much in the coaster and therefore it wasn't blending in too much with those other colors. You will see that I get some blending, but especially when I demold and pull these out, there is some really nice separation between each of my colors, pigments, glitters, and uh, textures in these coasters. I will say too, you only need about an ounce and a quarter of resin per each of these molds a little bit more depending you know some people really really like to fill their mold um, some like them a little bit shallower so that there's like a rim um, so I used about an ounce and a quarter and I could probably still dome these a little bit um, right here I'm using a biodegradable chunky glitter that I'm debating on getting in my store I just want to share that real quick um, but again over on my patreon I will have a few more extra added tips and bonuses for my patrons over there on how I did these coasters and just to reiterate that these molds and the pigments and the glitters, mostly all of them, you can find at my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com, except that new biodegradable that I was testing out, that should be coming soon. And now for the oh-so-satisfying demolding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me over on Instagram if you want, at dryerdays. I do a lot of giveaways and stuff over there. Uh, so I hope to see you there and uh, thank you again so much everybody and until next time keep on pouring